Hello everyone and welcome to your channel Techwine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start your lab. Now open your cloud console. Go to Compute Engine, then click on VM Instances. Now click on this RDP. Download the file. Once the file is downloaded, open it. Now click on Connect. We have to use the username and password provided in the lab. So click on this more choices. Use different account. Now go back to the lab. And copy this username. And for the password use this. Now click yes. Okay now we are in our remote desktop. You can simply minimize this. Let me increase the font size so you can see the things clearly. Now open the chrome, go back to the lab and copy this link, move to the RDP, now open the link. For the email, copy this username from the lab and for the password, copy this password. In the search bar type migration then open this migration center for the region select US central one then click on this continue now open this discover assets click add data and for the client name go back to the lab and copy this client name paste it then for service account select this migration client and for estimated number of assets type 6 then click add data source now click download Wait for couple of seconds. Once it is complete, you will see an icon like this. Now open it. This will take few minutes to open, so please wait. Now click yes. Then OK. Then accept the agreement then click next again next now click on this install now you don't have to do anything you just have to wait for 10 minutes till this setup is complete so for the installation part i will speed up the video Once the installation completes, click on this finish, go to this start and in the recently added section, you will find migration center collector, open it, click yes, then click authorize, click run check, 
continue then log in with google select this account now click continue again go to the migration center click continue choose your project id then again click on continue and for the collectors select this then click authorize now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for first and second task now scroll down and copy this username go back to the rdp click add credentials make sure this os scan option is selected then click configure then for the name of credential type lab make sure the first alphabet l is in capital then for credential type select username and password now paste the username which we have copied from the lab and for the password go back to the lab and copy this then paste it now click add credential again click on this add credential click configure now go back to the lab and copy this name paste it for the credential type select this option and for the key go back to the lab copy this key and paste it now we have to download a file so go back to the lab and click on this download option this will download a file on your actual desktop now you have to copy this file so go to the download section of your computer copy this file go back to the rdp and move to the desktop now paste the copied file then again open migration center click on this browse go to this desktop and select this file now let me just expand this and if you will scroll down you will see this option add credential click on it now click add assets then machine then scan ip address ranges click agree then continue now click on this arrow then click enter ranges for the range go back to the lab and copy this ip then paste it again paste the same ip and replace the one with 8 then click start ip scan then start the scan now you can minimize this migration center and open the chrome move to the cloud console now go back click on assets now click on this button select the account make sure to mark this checkbox then click continue you will see an interface like this then click here continue as a student then confirm i agree then next okay now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task also now scroll down and copy this credential name open the rdp minimize the chrome and open migration center just go back again click on this add credential now you have to select this option database scan then click configure for the name of credential paste the copied text then for the database type select mysql for the username and password you have to use this
then click add credential again click on this add credential select database scan click configure for the credential name copy this name from the lab paste it for database type select this option for the username and password you have to use this then click add credential click on assets then database then click enter connection strings for the credential name select this option now go back to the lab and copy this name and in the select machine os asset filter out the results you will find this option select this and for the host copy this thing and paste it after few seconds you will see this option enabled so please wait now click on this test connection string then click add asset now again go back to the lab open your chrome then a new tab and paste the link this will download a file on your system now again go back to the migration center then go to assets database upload csv connection strings for the credential name select this option now click on this browse go to the download section you will find a file like this then click open now click on this save now what you have to do you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task in this task many of you are facing the issue and the issue is let me just minimize this and go to this strato zone if you will open this results then go to the inventory section you will find no data and if you will check the lab here it is mentioned it can take up to 15 minutes to show up the data but i have tried this lab and the data takes forever to show up so what you have to do go back to the rdp open a new tab in the chrome after that open this link i will provide this link in the description this link will download a csv file on your system after that go to this strato zone then go to assessments then click on this add an assessment group select this option and you can give any name to your group and for the email go back to the lab and copy this email and simply paste it then click save now select this manual option for the assessment name you can type anything now scroll down click save and next then again scroll down and click on this upload option click on choose file go to the download section and you will see a file like this now you have to upload this click open then click upload again scroll down click on this refresh then click save and next then again scroll down and click complete import you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task now scroll down and we have to generate reports copy this report name go to reports click on this generate report 
and for the filters select all then for vendor catalog scroll down and select private data center for this section select on demand for this one select one year and for this select three years and if you will scroll down you will see option like this create report click on it just wait for few minutes till your report is created you can see our report is complete again go back to the lab check the progress scroll down and copy this report name click on this reports then in the inventory section generate a report now paste your report name for the filters select all then click on this create report again wait for few minutes till it is complete ok now this report is also created now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task now scroll down again copy the report name click on reports for the detailed pricing click on generate report now paste the report name for the filter select all and for the vendor catalog one scroll down a bit and again you have to select this private data center for the vendor catalog two select on demand for vendor catalog three select one year and for the fourth one select this three year then again scroll down and click on this create report again you have to wait for one to two minutes till it is complete and you can see this report is also complete again go back to the lab and you can check the progress for this task also now scroll down again copy this report name go to this report now click on this generate report now type the report name for the filter select all for the vendor catalog one again scroll down and select this private data center for vendor catalog 2 select on demand for this 3 select 1 year and for this 4th one select 3 years now scroll down and generate your report just wait for few minutes till it is complete ok now this report is also completed you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task also now scroll down and for the 14th task again copy the report name go to this reports and this detail pricing click on this generate report paste the report name for filter select all for vendor catalog 1 again select private data center for vendor catalog 2 select on demand for vendor catalog 3 1 year for the fourth one select three years then click create report just wait for a few minutes till the report is created ok now our report is created now go back to the lab and check the progress for this task congratulations you have successfully completed this lab now you can end the lab i was getting various requests to make the solution for this lab so now you have the solution and with this solution if you were able to solve the lab make sure you subscribe to our channel techwine for the next time stay safe stay healthy